Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to connect to a virtual machine running in Azure cloud from our local machine. Let's say that you know you were able to create a VM in uh, Azure cloud. You wanted to connect from your local machine. Okay, so how would you do that? That's exactly what we are going to learn in this short video. So if you look at this diagram, uh, so this is the Azure virtual machine running and this is you and then you have your laptop. So how are we going to securely connect to our virtual machine running in Azure cloud. Okay, so if you look at the prerequisite, I do have my VM up and running. That is actually this one. So you can see here, this is my virtual machine running in Azure cloud. And then I also have uh, downloaded my perm key as well. So this is the key I will be using in order to connect to that virtual machine running in Azure cloud. Okay, and then we also need to have our SSH client. So which has been already downloaded here. So you can also click on here in this particular link if you want to learn how to download items. So you can you know use this. I prefer to use item, but again, if you want to use terminal, you can also use terminal as well uh, in order to connect from your MacBook. Okay, awesome. So let's get started. So what we have to do is yes, we have to go to Azure portal and then let me expand this and then click on connect. Okay. So you see two different options here, right? So if you want to use Azure CLI without using your SSH keys, then you can use this. But the scope of this video is, you know, to use SSH uh, tools such as item or git bash. So let's select this one, select. First of all, choose which, what is your source machine, right? What is your local machine, whether it is a Windows machine or Mac OS or Linux. So you have to choose it. So mine is, Mac, so I'm going to select that one. And then this has provided all this option for me, right? All we have to do is enter the private key in the text box. So this is my private key. Okay, but make sure your private key does not have any right access. Okay, so how you can do that? You can maybe copy this particular command. Okay, so when you do that, this will ensure that your key is having only read-only access. Okay, so that is also mandatory for Mac operating system, okay? Uh, but anyway, I already took care of that. So I'm going to copy the key and then paste that over here, enter. There you go, right? You see here, so this has provided me all the commands for me in order to perform. So just copy that and then make sure you are actually in the downloads directory. Uh, that is where I have downloaded the keys and then enter. Wow, do you all see here? So that's it, right? So I'm actually connected to my uh, Ubuntu VM running in Azure Cloud. So yeah, so it is actually straightforward. Only thing, you know, people may sometimes get confused is which option to select. Once you select it, and then you can choose your source local machine, your local machine. Uh, depending on that, you can perform the operation. But let's say you're using a Windows machine. So you can click on this one, and then you can go ahead and then you know, execute these command, very similar to that, right? You just need to locate uh, your key name and then you would be entering the key name and then you would be, uh, you know, performing these command, right? All right, folks, so that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you for watching.